Here we have these reports pages. We can go to the summary page to view the visuals. We have access to other tabs. But we also have one special report page, which we don't want to make generally available for everyone who has access to this report. For example, if I click on view as and sign in with an account, a at example.com, you can see the page tab for cash flow and working capital is not available for this account. But if other person who has access, sign in, should see the tab and can access the report. In this video, we are going to create a solution for this. And along with that, we will also solve a very unique problem associated with page level access. So without a further ado, let's create it from scratch. All right. I have this multi-page report. The requirement is to hide this cash flow report in its standard view and provide access of this tab to few selected users. For that, I have this home page and here I will create the toggle button for these tabs and will apply the logic to solve this problem. Or this demo, I have this email list where I wanted to define who should see the cash flow tab. So I will add a column, access to cash flow page and will allow some of the users to view through report. Click on OK. Next, select Enter Data. Here I will create a table, which will have all the reports pages and an ID column to sort these tabs in a proper order. You can keep any appropriate name for this table. Close and apply the changes. All right, let's move to the next step. And before we start creating the important function, let me apply sort by ID column for the reports. Now, drag this column to the pan and change the visual type to a button slicer. From the format option, Remove the title for this visual and increase the font for the callout values. If you want, you can apply further custom formatting. Next, click on Insert and from the button section, insert a blank button. Once again, go to the Format section and here in the Button Style option, we have Text option. I want to add a dynamic text to this button. And for this, I will create a new measure. This measure name I can keep as Button Text. The expression for this text is pretty simple. Here I will validate, if reports table is not filtered, which means nothing is selected from the slicer, then show this text. Else, show the text, go to the report, once again from the text option, click on FX. With format style as field value, search for the newly created text measure for the dynamic text. You can change the color and size of this text value. For these selections, we can also dynamically change the background color of our button. And for that, once again, I will create a new measure. This measure name I can keep as button background. And again, I will create the exact same expression. And this time the output will be two different colors for selection or non-selection. Now I can use this measure to format the background of this button. Till here, we have not done any special thing. But now, let's move further and start creating the solution for the actual problem. But before that, let's make this button working so that it will take you to the selected pages from the slicer. For that, I will create a small measure. And this measure is nothing but just the selected value of the report page. From the button action, and action type as page navigation, we can use this button target measure, so that our button will dynamically change the target pages for its navigation. For example, if I select the trend analysis page, and click on the button, it will open the respective page. If you want, you can also change the fill color of the selected page from this slicer. All right, with this setup, I will create my final measure. This is going to be the most important measure in this entire demonstration. This measure name I can keep as access to CF or cash flow page. Here, first of all, I will create a variable. The expression will be calculate max of this column where email ID is equal to the user principal name. This function will detect the email ID of the user and will validate to check the access. In the return statement, it will check if this variable value is equal to Y, which means this user has the access to the cash flow tab, then the values of the report page ID should be in the list of all the report IDs, or else it should be inside a list which does not has the ID for cash flow page, which is number four. Since the result of this expression will be true or false, and I need to use this as measure filter, I will wrap this expression inside in function so that it can be used as a filter. Next, select the slicer visual and open the filter section, drag this measure and bind the value of this measure as one, which means true. With that, you can see, I no longer see the cash flow page tab. I also need to hide this page from the bottom, 
We will talk about a very important issue with this approach and we'll fix that as well. But for now, let's verify if our some of the users who has access to this page are able to see the tab or not. For example, this account has the access, so he should see the cash flow page tab. And yes, for this account cash flow tab is visible. Let's check for another account. Since we have not granted the access for this account, the tab should not be visible. And here we go. This solution is working as expected. Now it's time to publish this report and discuss one important issue with this approach. In fact, this issue exists for any such kind of page level access. And we will try to fix that as well. Here we have the working solution. Our cash flow page is not visible for this account. But if I try to export this as PDF and uncheck this option, I can actually see the hidden cash flow page as well. To fix this issue, I will open my access to CF measure and copy its entire expression. Then I will create a new measure, reuse the code. Here I will remove this int function and remove this section. Though this measure I just need to validate. If the variable value is equal to Y, then 1. Else 0. Keep an appropriate name for it. Next, select the visual and open the filter section. Drag this new measure. And once again, the value of this measure should always be 1. Now, click on Apply Filter. Don't forget to hide the filter section before publishing your report. This way, people who does not have the access cannot see the values in your visual. And person who has access will see the values. Please note, page level access is only for personalized experience on the report pages. And you should use proper RLS or other data security features for sensitive data. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.